Just a quick announcement to make guys, JKXVX stickers, shirts and hoodies are now available to purchase. I'm going to leave pictures on screen right now of all the different available designs you can get. For a little while I'm going to have some exclusive deals on where you can get some free stuff if you order specific items. My shop is not currently up to date but if you want to buy any of these stickers or any of these shirts and hoodies you see on screen feel free to message my Twitter, it's in the description and we'll figure it out over there. How's it going everyone, JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at the KTM Expo GT4 and how you can get it the fastest way in Forza Horizon 4 and what it's like on the road as well. Just like every other weekly vehicle, the KTM Expo GT4 is actually in the Forzathon shop. So if you come to this video to find out how to get it, this is how. However, if you want to know the quickest way to get 200 Forza Horizon points, we're going to go through that right now. If you have the house that gives you double Forza Horizon points that you get with VIP, then this means you, you get double Forza Horizon points, as, as usual, meaning that you can get 200 Forza Horizon points just from doing the weekly challenge. So what we're going to do today is going to go quickly through the weekly challenge, the fastest methods to complete the weekly challenge, so you can unlock the brand new KTM Expo. And the reason I do these videos is because I urge people to get these Forzathon cars that come through. Because after this week, it's not going to be possible to get it. And they will go for stupid amounts of money on the auction house. So the weekly challenge is evolved around the Morgan 3 Wheeler. It's very simple to get one of these. I'm not actually sure if you can buy the Morgan 3 Wheeler in the auto show. If you can't, I'll have to swipe it off the auction house but they should be very cheap so get the morgan three wheeler hop in it and that'll be your first weekly challenge complete now the second challenge is to get six total stars from drift zones in the morgan three wheeler now a quick way to do this is to get my tune so if you go to tune car load setup and you can find my tune it is called forzathon drift and you can see what my name is there this will instantly fully upgrade for the car for you so you can easily go through the drift zones and unlock the six stars very quickly if you need to add my game attack to find my tune here it is so once i've got you so once you've got the tune on you just have to get six stars in drift zones now the good thing about this is you can use the same drift zone over and over again for example this one at the auto show i'm going to use this one i'm not the best at drifting but i'm going to try my best for example, if I get two stars on this right now, that would be two stars unlocked. I can then go and do it again and get another two stars and that would be four stars unlocked. Do it again until you get six stars in total. It's pretty easy to get three stars in this with my tune. As you can see, three stars is only 30,000 points. There we go. And there's the second Forza Don Chance challenge, sorry, completed. The third one is pass your opponents while drifting in your Morgan three wheeler to earn a show off skill. And this one's actually in the name. You have to pass someone in a race while drifting. And to be honest with you, this one's not that hard either. I would recommend doing the Horizon Festival Sprint at the festival, going into it, setting your difficulty to the lowest, making a custom blueprint with only small cars, such as the three wheeler and the Reliance. And with your small difficulty, you should very easily be able to drift past an opponent into another place to unlock your show off skill and that will be the third challenge completed it's recommended that you let yourself fall to the back of the pack so you can easily go past them again while drifting there it is show off skill once that is completed the fourth one is to get five threading the needle skills in your morgan three wheeler this one is also very simple what i recommend going is going up to the city and going to this road right here. There's lots of traffic on this road and all you have to do is filter straight through the middle of the traffic coming both ways and you will get a threading the needle skill. You just need to do this five times. And there you go, all five completed. After that's done you can go to the Forzathon shop and unlock your new KTM Expo GT4. Now, if you don't have the VIP double Forza Thon points bonus, you'll have to do a couple of Forza Thon live challenges to do this. Either way, you'll have it very soon. Okay then, let's have a little bit of a look at the KTM Expo GT4 2018, brand new car that's just been released for the first time in the game. That looks so cool. What we're gonna do now is we're going to go to the paint job, see what kind of paint job um, subsections are on it if any and we're also going to try to uh, fully upgrade this thing see what it's like as well right let's go to design and paint paint car 
there are subsections, but what do we have? Uh, ooh, that, that, that must be broken. What? There's no way that's a real thing. So they've got one subsection for there, and the other subsection for there. That's stupid. Well, to be honest, I quite like it in black, so I'm going to keep it like that. I'm more mainly curious what kind of upgrades you can put on this thing. As I was saying earlier, guys, I recommend getting this car when you can, because this car is going to be worth a lot of money in the future, especially this one as well, for when it's not available on the Forzathon shop, which it will be eventually. There's not a massive amount of upgrades. Uh, there is quite a lot of engine upgrades, which is decent. So if we go ahead and do this, there we are. 600, wow. 691 brake horsepower this thing can have. And how much does it weigh? One fat, it weighs a ton. For 600 kilograms, that's pretty good. For 700 horsepower, sorry, not 600 kilograms. I'll tell you, for 700 horsepower, That feels very controllable. Look at the inside of it. That's pretty mental. That's like we're inside some scaffolding with... Ooh. That's cool. If anyone wants my tune for this, again, it's going to be called Maxed Out. It's got the stock engine in it, so you don't have to worry about any stupid engine swaps. And it's also wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So there you go. There is a Maxed Out tune if anyone wants to find it. <laughs> that's strange look at the bit on the rims look at the bit in the middle of the rims they're blue on this side they're red however if we accelerate just a little bit they turn red <laughs> that's bizarre well guys please do get this car work on your force on challenges and unlock it because this thing handles like an absolute monster for 700 horsepower it's not massively fast doesn't have a massive top speed but it's rear wheel drive it handles insanely it's a lot of fun and after this week you're not going to be able to get it it's only going to be in the Forzathon shop for one week just like every other Forzathon car so get it and just hold it and sell it or keep it and use it but anyway ladies leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content I'm going to leave you with some more gameplay of the KTM right now I'll see you all in the next video